Welcome back to Claim Your Throne Queen. And today we have Tanisha here. <laughs> so, an AKA home buyer, home buyer's home, home girl. Home buyer's home girl. Yes. We're going to start right there because I want to know <laughs> where that came from. Oh my goodness. Um, till this day. So, it's been, let's just give it six years with the name. Okay. Um, I still, hands down, give the credit to my best friend, Cassandra. Oh. Yes. So um, when I first started in this business, she's been my, my number one biggest fan. She okay. also is part of my team at Homegirl Loans. Nice. Um, and I guess if we get into how Homegirl Loans came about. Yes, we need we to know. Definitely. That could be a, that could be a, in, in a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I had told her I wanted to start social media. So it was around the time where like Instagram was like a thing now. Mm -hmm. um, and it took me some time, even though I, I'm young, I'm still in the millennial, I guess, era. I don't consider myself the best at social media. Like okay. I need help. <laughs> we all need help, but we get so, through it. Um, I wanted to start social media page. I see I said, all your lives and everything. I think you're now, being modest. No, this is years, oh, this is years okay, ago. Okay. This is years ago. This is when home buyers, home girl came right. into place. So you needed a catchy name. I needed a catchy name. Cat she did so awesome. I'm like, <laughs> all right, you know me, like, you know what I'm about. You know what I'm trying to do. What yeah. should it be? So home buyers, home girl, I guess, uh, came to life. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yes. I love it. So how many years now? Uh, we're going on my eighth year in the business. Okay. And we're going on six years license as a loan originator. Wow. Yes. I first started out in processing the loan. So I did, I, did yes. the, I did the admin work or, or the work mm. that people thank me for nowadays because I catch a lot of things in the loan process. Exactly. But sometimes, you know, not for nothing, but loan origination is a sales position so our job is truly to sell the loan okay hands down right. not to you know yes that that's what it is it, that's what it is um i i think with time you find other things in the business that you you grow with and mm -hmm. you get humbled by but you're a salesperson at heart in a sense yes um so i needed to find ways to figure it out how can i make sure this loan closes and having that processing experience really helps so you did that for how long two years for two years yeah i love it after getting fired oh boy I love <laughs> so but you know the back end so that makes all the yes, difference i always matters, say that that's to what someone. i needed i, I started as now. an admin yes yeah yeah it was, it was getting into that position, um, something new, something different. I came from a financing background, financing and accounting. Okay. Um, that was my, my dad wanted, you want to get, you want to go to college is what you're going to be. Um, mm. but you know, I came from a, from a family that loved and loved hard. So, okay. um, I would say that, that because of all that taking place, it it's now what it is in a sense this is so nice so you said your friend also is part of your team yes she is she is our content director and community developer mm. she even created her own name <laughs> oh okay i love it she's like hold on a second let me give yeah. myself my yeah. own title she's like, so what am i doing if if i work with you i'm like you think about it so exactly that's that's what it became so tell us um are you on your own? Do you work for someone? Give us the scoop. Ah, uh, there's a lot of moving pieces there. Okay. What I can say is where I am now. Yes. Um, it's in a position where I am growing my team. Love um, it. And I'm doing it my way. Nice. So I think to me that was the end game. Mm. Um, where I tried it, been there, done a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, but now it's it's what I want. Okay. So that's the position that I'm so in. So did you have like huge followers and just, because oh, you're really no, like, no, no, no. You're really no. good with the social media no, stuff. No, no, okay. no, no, no. I, I am not nowhere near there yet. There's obviously <laughs> even a lot of people in my line of work All right. that, that just have it. Um, I think that obviously growing um, a social media presence organically to me mm -hmm. is really important. Great. I don't want to just pay somebody to like my videos or right. photos, right? Because yes, it works if that's your prerogative in the, in the process. Right. I think to me, it is connecting with real life people, mm -hmm. um, especially more now if you follow, if you follow a lot of my lives or my, my yes. videos that me and my team are posting, you're going to see it's also in Spanish. Yes, I was just going yes. there. I've yes. seen some of those yes. lives. Yes. Right? So I know, I know, Tanisha, people wonder like that name. <clears throat> well, slip me a, a message and we'll talk about oh, that no, one. She, yes. <laughs> She's good. That, She's one's good. A, that one's a whole other story. But um, yeah, so, so really, I think it came to terms 
um, again, you know, this path of, of how I want it, what I want. I say it confidently because right. I feel like I have the experience to say that. Exactly. But it took me a while to get there. Mm. Um, it took me a lot of, of learning, a lot of mistakes. It's good that you of say course, that because yes. sometimes when we're first starting, right, and we're, let's just say we have someone looking up to you, it's like, I want to do that now. Yeah. Yeah. And it took you time. It took me time. It's still it's still a process, right? You learn something every day or yes. you go through a new experience every so often. Mm -hmm. You can even just see market in general, right? Exactly. Where we were last year at this time, where we were the year before. Mm -hmm. And these are things that to a lot of us are still relevant, like yeah. fresh in our minds, because one, we're either in a position where we're, we're still afloat or rising or mm -hmm. in a position where we're struggling a little bit. Yeah. So, you know, it's those struggles going back to that. It's those struggles that helped me kind of say and, and know what the, what the end goal was going to be, um, for, for home girl loans and HGL mortgage. This which, is so do you have an area that you specifically work in or do you, cause I think you, I've seen something about even Florida, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so, so half of my heart is in New Jersey and half of my heart is oh, in Florida. You're one of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I call myself a snow bunny, okay. not a bird not because a bird. we're not there yet. It's not a, okay. my retirement state. It's my, um, I need a reset. Mm. Okay. So um, I am actually a part of um, an organization that's that's part of KW, or I would say a sponsor of an organization, mm -hmm. and it really I think opened me up to the possibility of growing my business in a different state. Oh, once nice. I went to the KW family reunion. Ah, um, okay. Which was in Florida last year. I happened to be there at the same time. I'm like, let's go. So I think that that time that I was there, that it was for business, I was yes. kind of like, wait a second, I can be here too. Um, so we did, we did some investing in, in, a, in an Airbnb property. So you see that I am a homeowner, a landlord, an Airbnb host. You're um, all in. You know, that, that's, that's to me the sacrifices that you make to get to kind of where mm -hmm. you're, you know what you're, you want yeah. out of the business in a yeah. sense, right? And, and who to grow it with. Um, but yes, so I also do, um, I would say, you know, home loans in Florida too. Those are my two primary states. That is so nice. Yes. So now how big is your team? My team consists of six. Okay. Um, so I have, or we are together because yes. collectively we, we are, <laughs> we are it. Um, we have two, um, I would say loan officer, loan officer assistants where they do take and have their own growing book of business, nice. but they are helping me in a sense with a lot of my Hispanic referrals. Okay. Um, I would say 90% of my business is Spanish speaking. So it was really important for me to have a team mm -hmm. that also spoke the language, um, oh, because it, it would definitely, I would say be a break in communication, even with the real estate yes. agents. If they have to feel they have to translate, right? I get I that totally, a lot. Like, listen, okay, I, I, I totally translate. have seen the whole Spanglish thing as well. And you know what? It works. Yes, yes. It works. Yes. I found that working with the um, really Hispanics uh, or, or Latin community, you have to educate. That is really, really important. And a lot of times it's more than once. <laughs> yes. It's almost like our parents and they used to repeat things over and over and over, yeah. right? So sometimes it's more than once. Sometimes it's the hand-holding process. And a lot of times, you know, if you look at our time and value that we're putting into this business, we also want to make sure that there's an outcome, right? Because if, if we're not making the money, we're not growing in a sense, right? What exactly. Are we doing? So it's really to me about um, creating systems now. But your team, you're being, you're their support system. Yes, yes. That's so what we're, I we're creating systems, and that's that's where that's where me and my team, I think, shine. That is so amazing. I know I've met someone on your team that actually you helped, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That was mm -hmm. so amazing. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I think this. I'm going to say more the last two years have really humbled me to know who I want to be in this business. I know I want to work with the Hispanic community and 90% okay. or the majority of my real estate agents that I work with are females. It's a focus. And they're Hispanic females. Yes. So even more so, you know. Which is one of the reasons why you're here. Because yes. I'm like, yes. oh, come on. I have to have her on my podcast. <laughs> oh, no. It, it really I've wasn't seen honor. some of your events, too. So tell me about that. Because I, I couldn't. I was like, wait a second. Is she doing this for the clients? <laughs> or is she doing this for us? Like, you know. So tell me a little so, bit about um, this They summer, looked fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, we always try me and my team. So I'll give you the, the back story on that and how that came about. Um, during the summer buying the investment property, I took my daughter with me and I said, we're going to be in this house. Okay. One, because it's our home away from home Two, we're paying for it and yes. let's, let's make it a vacation. 
Um, so what I thought was going to be, I would say just hanging out became a whole renovation of the house. Oh my gosh. So I knew I wanted to make some changes, but mm -hmm. knowing that I wasn't going to be living there right away, I was just going to Airbnb as is. I guess once I got into doing a little bit more of the research about the potential, I almost probably had an increase of maybe 60% of income for the year. And that to me was enough to put the money into it. Okay. Um, so my daughter learned what it is to have workers in the house. Um, she learned what it is to sleep with noise oh, <laughs> this boy. summer, but the house was renovated. Um, and I had invited my best friend, Cassandra, again, who's on my team. And yes. I said, I'm gonna need help decorating. Cassandra, this girl, she just like, <laughs> you know, you give her her name and then she puts you to work. Yeah, so yeah well. <laughs> for sure, for sure. And uh, what we thought was going to be a two week stay, she ended up staying with me the whole entire summer. Oh my God. So in the process of knowing I wanted to rebrand myself this year, um, cause that's really what my focus is, is rebranding, really mm -hmm. putting myself out there now this year, um, more than ever. I feel like I have now the support team to handle a lot what I couldn't do in previous years. So now it's time to really be the front face of what Homegirl Loans is. Nice. Um, so these events are different in every case. So we obviously do events that are focused on your home buyer. So we do monthly seminars in our okay. own bridge office. Um, it is open, I would say, to to agents that want to use the space. But obviously, as your preferred lender, I would be there. But it's a, it's a space that I'm going to be using and have extended right. the doors to any other agent that might want to host an event. Wow, there. that's huge. <laughs> it was it was the need, right? You want to do seminars, but where are you going to go? Who's going right. to cover the cost? Who's this? Well, there's a space. So now you have a Parking, space. Parking, everything. Um, Old Bridge. Nice. So we we knew that we needed to um get myself out there and how was that going to happen so these events are geared again towards the home buyers i we have some for agents so we do agent education as well and mm -hmm. i guess forms of lunch and learn so you'll see that as part of the events and if you want to reserve a time that we come out and speak about va fha and we're right. talking about more creative financing things people mm -hmm. that want to build an investment portfolio exactly. yes first time home buyers but i think the opportunity out there to teach agents more about hey what you can truly do with this loan that you might not know exactly is where we saw the potential mm -hmm. i don't i don't want to talk about what you could just easily research online right. you know exactly. i want to talk from experience yeah so um and then i would say the fun ones are the um happy hour so we have a home girl happy hour that's the first thursday of every single month okay. and this is no rsvp same place same time every single month i love it <laughs> so this is if you want to come out and hang out have a drink get something yes. to eat i know i yeah. i attended <laughs> I att and then of course i bumped into emmy yeah. which is i was like oh my god she was like oh yeah i've been doing stuff with her forever. yeah yeah yes yes small yes. world small world i think that's that's we, we keep on saying that every time we meet we're somewhere and it's like you know this person or you've yes. gone through this i've gone through this um, and then I think the big annual event, which this year I'm really looking forward to, is the Boss Babe Brunch. Oh, God, that sounds too cool. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cool. This is just my appreciation invitation for every female that I have worked with throughout the year. Mm. So it'll be my attorneys, uh, obviously agents, title girls. I even have a contractor this year, a 203 contractor who's a female. Ooh, um, okay. We closed and she did an amazing job. Everything went smoothly. So she's going to be also there. But these are people that I invite to say thank mm -hmm. you. Um, last year was the first year that I did it because I realized at that time that that's how many people I truly worked with. And wow. I didn't know. Sometimes, you know, you have your, your cell phone and you're scrolling through things. But I when know. you actually put like names to paper, I feel like that's a completely different feeling. Like yes. now I know why vision boards exist, exactly. right? Exactly. Because you actually see it. Um, so last year it was kind of just my first one come out, but I wanted to make it with um, affirmations. And I know nice. and I see that that's something you do now. And it's, yes. oh my God, it, it is, it's yes. such a different feeling to it read is. it out loud or have someone else read it to you or hold you by the hand and say, this one's for you. Exactly. Um, it, it's a lot of the empowerment that I have, I feel given a lot of new real estate agents, which mm -hmm. is a lot of my focus um, because I feel like in a sense, you, you need to come into this business. Yes, you have a, a maybe a team lead or a broker or training. Um, but I think it's different when you get it from the other side. It, it is different. Yes. Yes. I think so. I yes. would agree. It is different. And it is also, I'm sure you've realized this, it is also less intimidating. Yes. 
Yes, yes. I feel like um, you open up more with questions. You do. You're more curious. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to say I take them under my wing, but I like to feel that way, you know? But it's okay. I want to see them yes, succeed. I want to see absolutely. that their first year, their first two years, they're not thinking like, why did I do this, you know? Yeah. It's um, it's hard to, to let go of that nine to five. It's hard to f feel like if you don't uh, get this right, you fail yourself. But right. I just, I always say, you just never know until you try. And if you truly can say you've tried your hardest, I want to make sure you do too. That's good. So that kind of ability factor to me is important in a lot of new agents coming up. And a lot of them, obviously, my my females, my Latinas. Best that's right. That's where my heart is at right oh now. Oh my God, this so is amazing. The Boss Day Brunch is in March. It's for um, during International Women's Month. Love it. So the Save the Dates will be going out soon for everyone so that I've awesome. worked with. And if you haven't and you're interested, it's a, a phone call away from getting to know each other that's what Tisha. i say yes i want to be there yes this yes no this is this is open i feel to anyone we we all sometimes um don't know what we're going to get from a conversation absolutely um, from a, a meeting greet from a networking and event yes networking yeah. and supporting yeah. each yeah. other yeah. because you just never know yes i mean it doesn't matter there's a room full of people but there's always someone that you're going to connect with yeah